Merry Christmas, Cream Street family. I hope you're having a great morning with your families. The gospel lesson today comes from Luke 2, verses 22 through 38. Hear now for the word of the Lord. When the time came for the purification according to the law of Moses, they brought Jesus up to Jerusalem to present him to the Lord. As it is written in the law of the Lord, Every firstborn male shall be designated as holy to the Lord. And they offered a sacrifice according to that which is stated in the law of the Lord, a pair of turtle doves or two young pigeons. Now there was a man in Jerusalem whose name was Simeon, and this man was righteous and devout, looking forward to the consolation of Israel, and the Holy Spirit rested on him. It had been revealed to him by the Holy Spirit that he would not see death, for he had seen the Lord's Messiah. Guided by the Spirit, Simeon came into the temple, and when the parents brought in the child Jesus to do for him what was customary under the law, Simeon took him in his arms and praised God, saying, Master, now you are dismissing your servant in peace, according to your word. For my eyes have seen your salvation, which you have prepared in the presence of all peoples a light for revelation to the Gentiles and for your glory to your people Israel. And the child's father and mother were amazed at what was being said about him. Then Simeon blessed them and said to his mother, Mary, this child is destined for the falling and the rising of many in Israel, and it will be a sign to those that will be opposed, so that the inner thoughts of many will be revealed, and a sword will pierce your own soul too. Then there was a prophet, Anna, the daughter of Phanuel of the tribe of Asher. She was of great age, having lived with her husband for seven years after her marriage, then as a widow to the age of 84. She never left the temple, but worshiped there with fasting and prayer night and day. At the moment she came and began to praise God and to speak about the child to all who were looking for the redemption of Jerusalem. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
We've all heard of bucket lists. You probably have your own. For me, going to see the Sequoias have been on my bucket list since I can remember. In that part of my brain and heart that are filled with all things token, I've always equated the Sequoias with Ents in the Lord of the Rings. This past week, the kids and I got to see the Sequoias. We hired a guide who provided snowshoes so that we could hop deep out, deep out among those thousand year old trees. Did you know that you can take a vertical panoramic shot with your iPhone in order to get all the way to the top of a tree? It wasn't exactly like I imagined, but I'm so thankful that I got to see them with my kids. In this passage I read today, we met two people who had the same item on their bucket list, seeing the Messiah. Their names are Anna and Simeon. We don't know anything about them except what is written in Luke 2, yet what we learn is inspiring. We discover them both in the temple when Joseph and Mary came for the act of purification and to dedicate Jesus, their firstborn, to the Lord. What we read here indicates that both Simeon and Anna were constantly in worship and prayer at the temple. We learn that the Spirit of God rested on Simeon and that Anna was a prophet. We read that both were waiting for God to keep his promises to console and redeem Israel. So we know that they knew the scriptures. Next, we learn that they are older adults. Simeon isn't given an age, but we read that Anna is 84. Finally, we learn that they were waiting to meet the Messiah. I wonder if Simeon and Anna's idea of meeting the Messiah was different from what they expected. Did they imagine a Messiah who would ride to the temple and free God's people? Did they imagine a Messiah who would perform some miracle that would convince the Hebrew people that he was the one? In other words, did they imagine an adult, not a child? Yet as they are led to the infant Jesus in the temple, they are sensitive and in tune and listening to the Spirit of God so that they can recognize the holy. I want that for each of us. I want us to develop and practice a listening ear for what God is up to. I want us to be able to recognize the holy in our midst. I want us to be able to see what God is doing so that we can join God in welcoming our lost brothers and sisters and brothers back home. I want us to be able to recognize Jesus in every person we interact with during our day-to-day -day lives. I found myself praying that I, that we could be a church filled with Annas and Simeons, meditating on the word of God, listening for the heartbeat of God's spirit, perceiving where God is moving and chasing after all of God's children. I want Queen Street to be a house of prayer and healing. I want Queen Street to be a place of consolation, redemption, and hope. I want Queen Street to be a place that blesses and pours into the lives of children and their families in our town. I want Queen Street to be a place where God's Spirit is free to restore, redeem, and make all things new. So now that I've checked off seeing the sequoias off my bucket list, what's next? I want to grow up to be like Anna and Simeon. May we all do the same.
Merry Christmas, Queen Street. I love being your pastor. I'll see you in the new year.